Everyone has a passion. Chris Norton always fires his up in the kitchen. You know, he loves food, he loves cooking, he likes making people happy. He made a living satisfying stomachs as the sous chef at Max Downtown for years. Beautiful summer dish. Until he couldn't work anymore. Chris has been battling brain cancer for five years. He was doing very well the past year and then we found out in July that it was back. His girlfriend Nikita Gettner says he started taking new medication Friday night and woke up the next morning feeling a seizure coming on. She called an ambulance to take them from their Plainville home to St. Francis where he's treated for his cancer. And the trip that should have taken 20 minutes took about an hour. The annual Hartford Marathon was going on. As we got into West Hartford for St. Francis, um, went towards Sisson Ave and could not get down because of roadblocks. It was at that moment she felt panic. You know, is the father of my unborn baby and is he going to be OK? Is he going to have a seizure in the back? We spoke to Chris, who echoes his girlfriend backing the efforts of the EMTs. They were provided maps, but the maps weren't lining up with what was actually closed. Police officers wouldn't let us through barricades. We're half a mile from right here and could not get because they wouldn't stop the race to get us through. We reached out to the Hartford Marathon. A spokesperson says the race route hasn't been changed in years, saying they've released detailed instructions in August, which includes these directions to St. Francis. The ambulance company, American Medical Response, also has representatives in the command center working with Hartford police during the race. The EMTs tried and with dispatch, their dispatch trying to get the correct directions on, on where to go. She says they ended up flagging down another ambulance for directions. If they couldn't, you know, let us through or stop the the marathon, then they should have had an escort. Chris and his loved ones feel instead of getting help, they just got the runaround. And I think his concern and the family's concern and my concern is, you know, he, he was OK in the ambulance. You know, thankfully he didn't have a seizure. But what if that was someone else going through something worse? Jenna DeAngelis, Fox 61 News.